Hello and welcome back to another Flutter tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing how to share data between applications in Flutter. So uh, we do this with the help of a plugin called Share. Okay, so we need to add this in the dependencies first. So let me open the pubspec.yaml file. So there you can see the dependencies. Go down and add the Share plugin. I'll be providing the link in the description. So Flutter will get the packages. Now let me create a screen, import the share plugin and create a stateful widget. A middle lab with title share demo, home a scaffold with a bar. I'm going to give the same title here, share demo, and a body which is a container. I'm going to give it a padding of 25, and a child which is a column. So what we are going to do is uh, we will add two text boxes. One will act as a text, and the other one will act as subject for the uh, share intent. So what we are going to share with other applications. Okay, so let me add one text field with label text. I'm going to say uh, text and a hint text which will say enter some text or link to share. Okay, maximum lines two. And when the user types something, we are going to get that value using the on change property. So leave it empty for now. I'm going to copy that, create another text field, which will say enter some subject. Okay, so let's create two variables, text and subject. Now let's assign values to it. So go to the on change property call set state on the text okay same for subject as well okay so let me add some spacing a size box with a height of 20 and i'm going to add a builder so builder will have the builder property with build context okay so i'm going to return a raised button which will have child, a text, and an on plus property. So I'm going to check if the text is empty. If it is empty, I'm going to return null. So the button will be disabled when the text is empty. Otherwise, I'm going to return a function. So let me write a new function share. So this function will actually invoke the share intent in Android and the uh, share in iOS. Okay, so the render box is needed for only iPad applications, the application that is running on iPad because the share sheet is shown differently in iPad applications. So we need to call share.share. .share. The share is a plugin with a text and subject and passing the share position origin. Okay, now uh, to show the screen, I need to add this to the main.dart file. So let me open the main.dart, import the share demo. Okay, add it as home. All right. Now run the application. You should see two text boxes. Okay. Okay, let's run the application and share something. So you can see uh, the share intent is invoked and you can see the applications which can share. So let me copy it and paste it in Safari. So you can see the data there, right? So if you run this application in real device, you will see other applications which can handle uh, this kind of data. So same thing with Android, it will be invoking the share intent in Android. 
So you will see the other applications that can handle the handle this type of data. Okay. So this plugin is actually a wrapper around the native implementation. Okay. So that's all in this video. If you like the video, please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.